Hey amazing hackers, I'm Tor Hat from HM Cyber Academy. Today we're going to do fourth lab in file upload vulnerability series. So let's get started. The so web shall upload via extension blacklist bypass. The word blacklist means blocking and whitelist means allowing. As a developer or security professional, you should always allow only certain type of things but you should not block certain type of things if you block certain type of things what's going to happen hackers will find a new way to get in it's like if you block the front door i'll find a way through the window or the back door blocking is not the right way to implement security okay so what happens if you block something so here what are the blacklisting they're blacklisting extensions for example if they block php I'll find something like HMCA. This should also run like a PHP. So how to implement that? First of all, let's see what the description says. This lab contains a vulnerable image upload function. Certain file extensions are blacklisted. But this defense can be bypassed due to fundamental flaw in the configuration of the blacklist. To solve this lab, upload a basic PHP web shell. Then exfiltrate the contents of the file secret. Submit this secret using the button provided in the lab banner. You can log into your own account using the following credentials. So let's access the lab. So let's take this to per browser. Okay, click on my account. Log in using Wiener and Peter. So here I have my upload functionality. So I'm going to upload an image and see what happens. And here you can see the file has been uploaded. And here you can see that file. I can open this in new tab and find the location where it is being uploaded. So I'm going to save this location and whatever files I upload using that upload functionality will go into this directory. So if I upload virus.php, it will go into this directory. So let's do that. Choose file virus.php, upload. It says sorry. PHP files are not allowed. Sorry, there was an error uploading your file. So this is not what we expected. So let's go back to my account. Here I can see the previous image. Let me go to burp suit and see what happened. So proxy HTTP history. And this is my post request with PHP file. So let's send this to repeater. And let's send this again. And here you can see 403 forbidden. PHP files are not allowed. So here you see one more thing which is important which is server Apache. So Apache is being used as a server software. If it is Apache and if there is upload function you need to remember this. There is a file called .htaccess which is a hidden file because of the dot. If there is a file like this in the same directory as this then whatever folders or directories that Apache controls or web server software. If this file exists in that directory, then whatever instructions are in this file will be followed by the Apache software or web server software. So we have to give some instructions and upload this file into this directory. And then whatever instructions we keep here, will be followed by Apache software. So what instructions should I keep? So as you can see, PHP files are not allowed. So I have to give an instruction to tell Apache that I'm going to give a new extension and please allow a new extension to run it like a PHP file. So I'm going to say add, sorry, add type application x HTTP daemon PHP and I'm going to give an extension called dot let's say HMCA or something. The server uses mod PHP module so it knows how to handle this directly. Let me give all these instructions and upload this HD access file. So I'm going to copy this and say dot HD access file. Since this file does not exist as of now, the application will take this parameter which is application xphp. So I'm going to change this to text plane. Whatever this file is, it is going to be plain text. And I'm going to give the content of this file as this. Now, let's upload this file and see what happens. As you can see, the file has been uploaded. So from now on, whatever file I keep here 
with this extension, that file will run like a PHP file. For example, if I keep something like virus.hmca and keep the code like this, let's copy, paste it over here. So I can send this file and this file would execute like a PHP file. And you should remember that I don't have to keep application x PHP here. The server will completely ignore this header because it is already mentioned in the .ht access file. So just to show you, I'm going to keep image slash png. So I'm going to send this file. As you can see, virus.hmca has been uploaded. So let's show response in browser. Copy, go to the browser and paste it here. As you can see, it is uploaded. Go back to my account. You should see a broken image. If you don't see it, you have to directly go to this location. So this time the location will be HMCA. So since I have a broken image, I will right click the broken image and open image in new tab. And as you can see, this HMCA ran like a PHP file. So as usual, I'm going to upload one more type of file, which is file.php, but I have to give extension as .hmca. Go to burp suit, paste it. So I'm going to change this again something like text slash and I'm going to keep something like uh, file.hmca the extension matters so I'm going to send this and as you can see file.hmca has been uploaded so I'm going to copy this and I'm going to change this to file.hmca you should see a blank screen because it is expecting a parameter in the get request so I'm going to say question mark hmca equals to ls so all those files exist in this folder. I can also print cat slash home slash Carlos slash secret. That should print the file. So I can get some confidential files like etc pass wd and it should print all these usernames. Hope you enjoyed this one and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.